Hello, greetings everyone, Mighty Carly D here back at it again with another video. If you are new here, my name is Carly. I talk about true crime, conspiracies, and anything else I find interesting. I was originally going to do a completely different video today, but an incident happened on Saturday. I'm not going to talk about that incident, just because that's not what this video is about. But. The incident got me thinking about how far people are willing to go just for half a second of internet fame. This story I feel like was huge at the time when it first came out, but it's one of those stories that no one even thinks or remembers anymore. And what story is that? Well today, my friends, I'm going to tell you the story of Pedro Ruz and Mona Lisa Perez. This story takes place in June of 2017. At the time, Mona Lisa was 19 and Pedro was 22. They are boyfriend and girlfriend and have been together for a pretty long time. They already have a three-year-old together and Mona Lisa was seven months pregnant with their second child. Pedro and Mona Lisa had a YouTube channel together. It was called La Mona Lisa, and it was basically your standard couple's channel. They would do things like pranks and vlogs and, you know, just, just stuff like that. At the time, they had 218 subscribers, I think. It was something like that, a little bit over 200 subscribers. And it wasn't enough for them. They wanted more subscribers, more fame, and it really wasn't happening for them, or I guess, as I should say, it wasn't happening as quickly as they wanted it to happen. So Pedro and Mona Lisa were thinking about what they could do to, you know, go viral, essentially. Think of something that was dangerous and has never been done before. So they got to the drawing board, and on June 26, 2017, Mona Lisa tweeted out, Me and Pedro are probably going to shoot one of the most dangerous videos ever. His idea, not mine. And I agree, it probably was one of the most dangerous videos ever. And unfortunately, because of how dangerous and how stupid this idea was, Pedro is dead. I will say, I am terribly sorry for the loss of Pedro, but both of these people, Mona Lisa and Pedro, in my own personal opinion, are complete idiots. So what happened? So what was the idea? Pedro was kind of a gun guy. I don't know how many he had, but he knew, he knew some stuff, okay? And he would actually go into in, um, an abandoned building with books, and Pedro would shoot the books. And sometimes the bullets wouldn't go all the way through the books. He even showed Mona Lisa one of these books that had a bullet um, just kind of wedged in the middle of it. It didn't go all the way through. So his idea was that if he holds an encyclopedia up to his chest and has Mona Lisa shoot the encyclopedia from one foot away, he'd survive. Great video, and they'd go viral. So Pedro went out and he decided to buy a beautiful gold-plated Desert Eagle and 50 caliber ammunition to go right along with it. If you are not aware, a Desert Eagle is a big handgun that shoots a big round. Really big, okay? Big. And they were, they were ready to go. In the, in the intro video, because some of the footage was released to the public, okay? Not the actual shooting, but uh, like the, the intro part was released to the public and we have transcripts and stuff too. So even in the video, 
Pedro was very confident. Um, he was showing us how big um, how big the ammo is, even like comparing it with his G-Shock watch that he was wearing, showing us how big it is, and how he was he was confident. He was, because remember he tested it, so he was confident that the encyclopedia would stop the round and that Mona Lisa wouldn't miss the encyclopedia. One thing that made me, that did make me really sad was in the intro video. At the, at the very end of it, Pedro says, this is a quote, If I'm going to die, I'm pretty much ready to go to heaven right now. If I die, I'll be ready for Jesus. He then goes on to say that if he does die and goes to heaven, Jesus probably isn't going to accept him because of how stupid this idea was, but he has full faith in Mona Lisa for not missing the encyclopedia, and he'll walk away just fine. Um, after the intro video, which is the video that was made public, they got into their positions, and it wasn't until at this point Mona Lisa is starting to get upset. She even says, I can't do it, I'm so scared. Babe, if I kill you, what's going to happen in my life? No, this isn't okay. Um, in response, Pedro said, as long as you hit the book, you'll be fine, come on. And that was it. She pulled the trigger and it went right through the encyclopedia and Pedro was dead. Now, okay, so I'm sure we all know don't, don't point a gun at anyone, okay? Okay. Even, even if, even if the encyclopedia stopped the bullet from going through, it was a 50 cal, okay? All that force going on your chest, that's gonna break a few ribs right there. Absolutely. If not, do worse. So either, either way, he's either, he would have either been dead or in the hospital. And I don't think he thought about that. Thought He just thought about the, the bullet not going through the buck. Didn't think about the impact. Anyway. On December 15th, 2017, Mona Lisa pled guilty to second degree manslaughter. The plea deal she got was 180 days in jail. But what that actually meant was 30 days in jail every year for three years, and then after that, six months of being on house arrest. She'd then be on 10 years of supervised probation, and she can make money off of the video, and she's not able to buy a gun. Since she was out of jail for a lot, it's been over three years now, yeah. So right now she's just kind of on, um, she would be on the uh, probation, there's the word. Um, She's been online. She's been online for a while, actually. Her first video back was on July 31st, 2018, so about a year after the incident. She deleted all of the videos with Pedro and changed the channel name. So she's using the same exact channel. It's easy to find, I'm not going to say it, she's a piece of shit, she shouldn't get the views, and all of the comments are turned off, so there's nothing fun to read on there anyway. Um, but she hasn't posted on there since October 2019, so I don't know if she's going back there. In her first video back though, she did say she always wanted to be a YouTuber and was finally making the videos that she wants to watch, which she seemed like a really weird comment to me. I didn't like that. She is very, very active on Instagram though. And yeah, she's, she's living like she forgot everything that happened. And I get that everyone copes differently, but I'm just not getting this sympathy vibe from her. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. I know this was a little bit shorter video than I normally make. I still hope you enjoyed. 
Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below or reach out to me on any of my socials. I am Mighty Carly D across the board, so I am easy to find. And if you like what we're doing here, you can buy me a coffee. So until next time, friends, goodbye.